Hello, my name is Sarah Duncan and I'm the head of the jewellery department here at Chiswick Auctions. I'd like to spend a few minutes talking to you about icons of the 20th century and in particular jewellery. And what I think is one of the most iconic pieces of jewellery of the 20th century and that is the Cartier Love Bangle. So the Cartier Love Bangle was designed in New York for Cartier by a young Italian goldsmith called Aldo Cipullo. And ever since its inception, it has graced the wrist of A-list celebrities, movie stars, royalty, and has really solidified its position as one of the most desirable pieces of jewelry in the world. Back in 1969, Aldo Cipullo just joined Cartier, and it was at a period of great change in not just Manhattan, but the world. The past 10 years, Aldo Cipullo had worked for very established jewelry houses in New York, David Webb, Tiffany & Co, and he'd made very established jewelry. But the late 1960s in America and throughout the world were a time of great socio-economic and political change. And the environment that Aldo Cipullo was working in was one where people were shifting away from the preconceived perceptions of luxury and embracing a new ethos of the way in which they wanted to wear and enjoy jewelry. So he felt it was time to leave behind what was the very traditional diamond encrusted, heavily gem set jewels and design something drastically different. So you have to remember that this was all going on amongst a background of huge societal change. We had the women's rights movement, we had the civil rights, we had the anti-war protests, and we also had a lot of activity in the artistic world. The pop art movement was hugely influential, minimalism was a prevalent theme, and this is the sort of environment which this it boy of the New York social scene was really influenced by. So Aldo Cipullo was a great lover of history and he wanted to be inspired by what he thought was a very interesting idea, although it's quite controversial, which was the chastity belt. He thought the idea that warriors going off to war and locking their wives away in these chastity belts was something that could be reinvented and reformed for the 20th century. Aldo Cipullo really wanted to create something that was a token of love and a visual symbol of commitment. So he created something that was, could be worn without taking it off and would be obvious to anyone passing by that the wearer was in a committed relationship. To do this, he created what he considered to be a his and her set of love bangles. The design is incredibly simple. It is a huge departure from the traditional jewels that were being made by the other established jewelry houses. And Cartier was very big on embracing this change. They wanted to design jewels that went from the office to the nightclub. So he created something that was almost industrial, almost utilitarian in form. He used one of the most obvious symbols of industry, which is a screw. He designed a bangle with two functioning screws on either end that you could lock your lover in place with. To put on a Cartier love bangle requires the application of a small screwdriver on either end. So you can't just take one of these on and off. You're literally locked in. So the idea is that anyone passing would see that you were in a committed relationship and indeed, shortly after they came out in the early 1970s, wearing a Cartier Love Bengal was almost attuned to wearing an engagement ring. The idea of a his and her set was something that the marketing executives at Cartier were very keen to promote. And to do so, they invited 25 high-profile couples in New York to come and receive complimentary gifts of these Love Bengals at their New York Fifth Avenue location. So the Duke and Duchess of Windsor received a set. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton received a set. Steve McQueen and Ali McGraw received a set. And it worked. It was a huge success. It has been Cartier's most popular jewel for almost 15 years now and has really become quite an icon of 20th century luxury. When we look at the Cartier Love range as an investment, the original design 
was very simple, only 18 karat yellow gold, no diamonds, no other adornments, and it retailed for $150. Now you can buy vintage examples at auction which go for between three and a half to five and a half thousand dollars. So we're looking about an increase of somewhere in the region of 2,000% over the last 50 years. Not a bad investment. And this makes it something that can be accessible to a wide range of price points. Cartier has continued to expand the collection. They've introduced rings, they've introduced cufflinks, pendants, necklaces, etc. It's time, it's endless, all the options. And they've also enhanced the luxury features of a Cartier bagel. So this one here is set throughout with diamonds. There's no screw heads visible anymore. So you're set with 10 brilliant cut diamonds. They also released far more premium ranges, which can retail for up to $45,000, $50,000. And this one here is Pave set throughout with brilliant cut diamonds, and the screw heads are actually made of ceramic. So it's a range that has accessible price points to a wide range of collectors, and it's something that, because of the simplicity of the design and the unchanging nature of the function of it, is truly a 20th century icon.